Hey guys, it is Abby. How are you guys doing today? Still at our parks road trip in a little bit, I guess. Um, today I am bringing you a question that um, someone had asked me in an email. And I did a little digging around, of course. Um, he wanted to know how you spot a swinger when you're out. So um, I did a little research, a little digging around, and I'll tell you what I found. Really windy today. Crazy, ridiculous windy. good so one of the primary ways to spot them is there is a symbol that consists of the international male and female signs you know the circle with the little cross below it and then the circle with the arrow coming off to the side um, and they are arranged horizontally with cir their circles intersecting with three plus or minus signs on both sides and they differ slightly dis depending on what the swinger is into. The three plus signs on both sides means they are looking for partners as a pair while the minus signs means they would also join without their partner. Interesting. Having in some things to look for around their house that might be a good indicator of that a swinger lives there or that these people swing. Having an oversized hot tub in their backyard um, is a famed indicator that they are swingers that live there. Um, a woman that wears an anklet on her right ankle or toe rings on her right foot is an indication. Thumb rings as well. Another indicator is the woman wearing a wedding ring on her right hand as opposed to her left. Um, this I found interesting. Take a walk around your neighborhood. Things you wanted to know about your neighbors and were afraid to ask. Here we go. Um, white landscaping rocks in their yard could be an indicator that they are swingers. Pink or purple decorations in their yard, in their front garden, is, could be an indicator that they are swingers. A pineapple door knocker um, and I've seen those too like I've seen and heard of it being upside down too. like an upside down pineapple is an indicator as well who knows um, garden gnomes <laughs> like those crazy little elf things you know the little garden gnome statues could be an indicator that swingers live there um, another sign is, uh, and this is on a man, is a uh, black ring on their right hand, an all black ring on their white hand, or on their right hand. Um, another yard indicator, pompous grass in the yard. Everybody's out there rethinking your landscaping design right now. Um, pink flamingos in the yard. I haven't seen those things since like the 80s, if I'm being honest. So if that is an indicator, yeah, not too many people have those in their yards anymore. So if you see those, that's probably a good indication. Um, and then another telltale sign is that they keep getting hotter 
while everyone else around them is just getting older. Um, swingers tend to keep up their appearance and their um, physique for obvious reasons, I guess. Um, of course, these are just rumored to be some of the telltale signs. Um, you know, some have been confirmed, some of them have not. They're just rumors. Um, but if you're not a swinger and you have any of this stuff in your yard, you might want to uh, rethink your landscaping. Otherwise, you might have an unwelcome knock at your door. And I think if you wanted, if you were really bored and wanted to have some fun, take a walk around your neighborhood and check out your neighbor's yards and landscaping. See how many of them have pompous grass or pink and purple decorations or garden gnomes. Or if you can get close enough, the pineapple door knocker. Anyway, that's all I have for today. If you guys have know of any other signs that you've heard of, rumored or fact or whatever, um, leave them in the comments below and we will see you guys real soon. Bye everyone.